Dear ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to speak in front of those people who actually wrote all the articles which we were studying and which inspired us initiating our uh, trial, uh, uh, the members of the Inspire group. Very happy that they are here today. And uh, we would like to uh, draw your attention on our new uh, trial, the Pineapple Trial, which aims to explore the route from the first sign of abdominal pain to the diagnosis of pancreatitis in a prospective and ret retrospective manner. And uh, they are named Pineapple R and Pineapple P. Uh, as we have heard already today in previous presentations, there is little information available about pediatric pancreatitis. And the incidence of the disease has uh, decreased during the last 10 to 15 years. And the reasons for this increase is not clear yet. Um, the two main studies in the United States and in Australia estimated the incidence of pancreatitis at 3.6 and 13.2 cases per 100,000 children, which show that pancreatitis is not a rare disease among children. Uh, the retrospective uh, trial in Pittsburgh suggested a strong correlation between the number of amylase, amylase and lipase tests and the rising incidence of the disease. Um, pediatric pancreatitis is a rarely diagnosed disease in Europe. Um, well, not, not in every, um, uh, for example, in Poland, we saw that it's very, it's not that rare. Uh, uh, preliminary data collection in Hungary suggests that around 30 to 50 percent of pediatric patients attend uh, uh, the emergency units with symptoms of abdominal pain, but pancreatic enzyme tests are performed on about 5 to 10 percent of the patients. The reasons might be financial difficulties, rare thinking about pediatric pancreatitis, and no available evidence-based guidelines. The aim of Pineapple R is to retrospectively look into our diagnostical practice by overviewing one-month patient flows of medical and surgical emergency units. Our hypothesis is also um, that we can prove that in Europe, the number of serum amylase and lipase measurements correlate with the incidence of the disease. And because of this, we expect a decrease from Western to Eastern Europe of the incidence. So, um, uh, Pineapple R, the retrospective uh, trial, helps us to see what we've been doing till now. And uh, now we would like to see if we can do it maybe better. Um, our aim of Pineapple P is to provide a fast, simple, and authentic scoring system that helps to evaluate in a reliable and cost-efficient way the, necess the necessity of, pediatric, uh, of sorry, pancreatic enzyme tests and abdominal ultrasonography, or CT, when a child has abdominal pain. And we initiated our trial to accurately, uh, accurately me measure these uh, parameters. And we hope we will be able to draft a score system which is suitable to determine very accurately the, necess the necessity of pancreatic enzyme tests and abdominal imaging in children when they have abdominal pain. So uh, um, some general information. <laughs> uh, the study is open for all centers providing accurate data. We expect in Pineapple R a number of patients above 50,000 and in Pineapple P above 5,000. And each uh, uh, institute, uh, uh, the institutes they, they, um, who will join us uh, will um, receive uh, after 500 uh, to 1,500 cases uh, one authorship and above uh, 1,500 cases two authorships and in Pineapple P, 100, uh, one authorship, each 100 patients. And we plan the study to last about two years. 
So I would like to just briefly explain uh, the protocol procedures if you, uh, for those who would like to join us. Uh, the first step is that the institute should fill, it, fill out and sign the pineapple letter of intent to join, which can be downloaded from our homepage. Um, the protocol and pineapple are um, our main form uh, is, a, is an Excel table, which should be filled out. Uh, we are asking uh, diagnosis, the main complaints, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, pancreatic enzyme uh, measurements, or imaging findings. Uh, this table is very easy to fill out. For pineapple P, it is very important that if in your institute, uh, in the, uh, the emergency unit, the surgical and uh, the internal medicine uh, is uh, separated, then both should be involved into the, into the trial. Uh, the next step is that the patient needs to be informed by the informed consent form, and the patient has to sign it. And for pine, uh, pineapple, um, pineapple uh, P, the main form is a questionnaire which should be filled out. Um, it contains the main, uh, the, the, uh, the patient's personal details, details from the medical history, family history. Medical history, um, according to um, abdominal pain, of course, and we are concentrating on the last two weeks, new symptoms, diagnosed disease and, and the, uh, diseases in the last two weeks, new diet, changes in the diet in the last two weeks, any event that strongly affected the child emotionally, changes in the environment, and new medications, of course. Furthermore, complaints, symptoms of the child, abdominal pain, the intensity, localization, continuity, nature, how long did it, did it last, how many hours have passed since the pain, other complaints like vomiting, appetite, weight loss, nausea, stool, admission details, abdominal guarding, abdominal tenderness, bowel sounds, etc. From the laboratory parameters, we only uh, uh, need amylase and, and lipase um, levels. And uh, imaging examinations and admissions and the main group diagnosis. So we hope many of you will join us. And uh, if, you have many, uh, if you have any questions, we will be happy to answer them. And I thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. Uh, questions and notes, please. Our idea was that we, um, in, in the pineapple study, uh, we only, uh, uh, only measured these two parameters because um, automatically, if we diagnose or if these, um, um, if, if the MLS or lipase is elevated and we diagnose um, pancreatitis, uh, the patients automatically come to our next trial, the um, APPLE trial, and there a lot of parameters have to be examined. But but um, Andrea will talk about it. Or did you mean from the beginning on? Maybe, okay. Oh, sorry, know, sorry. In the appeal, but it's very important. Yeah, this is a very important issue and uh, definitely needs to be done. I was just wondering because uh, I think in Poland we have totally opposite situation because everybody is getting analyzed testing, everybody, children as well, So when he has any pain. Mm -hmm. And this way we produce so many pancreatitis, <laughs> because then if this is slightly increased, I'm talking MLI, not lipase. Uh -huh. So it's slightly increased, then we have a hard time explaining the patient that it's not pancreatitis or not pancreatic cancer. That takes a long time to explain. Uh -huh. So probably we need to uh, to write down at, at uh, from the beginning that this has to be significant elevation, uh -huh. or maybe we should base on lipase only. Because then we will produce a lot of pancreatitis people. Yeah, it's, uh, Peter? Yeah, that, they were excellent comments. Uh, thank you. 
One of them is that's totally right, that, uh, that if it's a hyperamylasemia, it could be another issue. Yeah, I, I, absolutely, but this is the reason why if we immediately continue with measuring the CRT and others, but because of lipase and amylase not even measured, we didn't want to start with a study when we immediately asked to measure eight or ten parameters. So we would like to first uh, see which has at least three times higher amylase or lipase level, and if they have, we will step forward and we measure the other parameters. And you are right that retrospectively we can see that maybe 20, 30 percent or 40 percent of them were not uh, pancreatitis, but other uh, reasons for, for amylase elevation. So. In Poland, now we've got the situation that the pancreatitis is over diagnosed because everybody thinks about the pancreatitis, and we have a lot of the patients with a three times elevated pancreatitis analyzed. Yeah, but this is the reason in your country because you started working hard yeah. a couple of years yeah, ago. But before that, but before, yeah, but but bef yes, we will continue. But before that, we need to start a very easy method, and the study will be continued if the amylase is elevated, and this will give uh, 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 backwards data. Yeah. Any more questions? Oh, thank you, Dr. Shoulders. Thank you.